everybody and welcome to the Brick Show. I'm Aiden and today I'm going to be doing a video about my resistance base. So I know I've been talking about my resistance base before, but I've never done one single video about it. So we're going to change that today. And we are going to um, build a little bit of my resistance base. So my resistance base has like two different layers on it. It has some of the bigger fighters, so it has my U-Wing, my two X-Wings, my Y-Wing, and my Resistance ITS transport on it. And then this level is kind of where I store the Millennium Falcon and this transport, and then also the Jedi Fighter. And then I also have a building, which I kind of use as like a meeting room, a conference room area that goes back there. Right now Han Solo is laying on the floor next to my custom Han Solo that will be going into retirement today. And then it also has an armory on, on this level, which I built quite quickly. Um, I'm going to be probably rebuilding that a little bit. And then it also has my main command area with like command desks and then where I keep all my resistance soldiers and stuff. And then I also have some of my smaller fighters like A-Wings, the Phantom, kind of. Uh, and it's just some other transports and then a bunch of speeders in the back. That's where I keep all my speeders. I'm going to rearrange this whole layout and I'm going to be building it on my workspace right down here. And we're going to get to it right now. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit and you'll see that coming up right now. Okay, so I got this all cleared up on the top, pretty much, so a little bit left. But I'm going to start working on this. I'm going to use some of these guys to make a second floor, so I can put the Millennium Falcon on the bottom, which is really nice to have, because then you have a second level to put in a meeting room and all kinds of other storage rooms and stuff like that, just so my resistance figures can have fun. You got a General Solo. Got General Calrissian and the old General Solo. This was a custom figure that I made. I really like the figure, but it just doesn't beat this Han Solo. So this one is going into retirement right now. So say goodbye, General Solo. Say hello, Han Solo. Yes, I did just throw him. Now I'm gonna get to work. So there's been a little change of plan. So these, the ITS and the Y-Wing both fit under here without me having to build up super high. I'd only have to build up that high. If I wanted to build the, put the Falcon in here, I'd have to build up a lot higher. Probably another four bricks. And as you can see, I'm running a little bit out of bricks. I probably have more, but I'm not going to dig for an hour to find a couple bricks. So I decided to put the Falcon up here. It fits along with my boat, both my X-Wings, and then the U-Wing. The Jedi Interceptor, I still don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but I know the 48 by 48 fits here. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little bit something back here. Try to have like a speeder depot that can kind of move out from here and kind of down this aisle here. Or maybe it wraps around like there and then comes out like here. I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Sorry, there's a tape measure here. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for right now. I'm going to get back to work, and I'm going to show you my progress. Probably in another 15 minutes. But for you, it's only going to be a couple seconds. So, I basically have the top platform completed. This platform is three different colors. I just pretty much took whatever base plates I could get my hands on. And so I kind of like it, the color diversity. This is going to be just front windows, and then this will probably be more of the conference area. And maybe more storage stuff in the back, so kind of like three different levels. 
So I'm going to get back to work and I'm going to show you some of the details on the interior as soon as I get the walls up. Some walls. I'm not putting all, all the walls up. So I definitely added some detail. I added the front windows. Don't have any glass in them yet. I'm going to have to get some glass. I don't really have. I have a couple pieces, but not much. Not real glass. Just the Lego glass glass that we would use. And then I got a couple of desks for just random rebel workers. And then we got our like conference room with all the leaders. Of course you've got Lando, Han Solo, um, Luke, and Leia. And then you also got Ahsoka, because I just wanted to put Ahsoka with Luke. And I just like Ahsoka, so she's with the rebels. You also got Commander Dameron. And you got Vi Moratti, and then just a Hoth Trooper that has risen in ranks, or risen in ranks. Back here, you've got some kind of rebel storage officer. He must take care of all the storage needs. Over here, there's a random blood star lying on the floor. And over here, we have Batman and his squadrons. If you saw my U-Wing, you may know that already. That's Bat Squadron. And then you also got the ITS transport with the clones, the 501st battle pack that I have, uh, matches the ITS, so I decided to give, they're all like one squadron. And then you've got your wall of blasters. I have a lot of blasters, and it will hold everybody up here pretty much. So everybody can get a blaster here if they need to. And there's also some more over here for the separate squadron. And then also some binoculars. You got a storage, lots of bins and storage, and fuel, food maybe. I don't know, could be in there. Then, like I said, you have this little officer or a storage guy. I don't know what he is. Maybe he's a storage officer. Sounds about right. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all the detail I put in. I will keep working on this. This is just the main overview. I'm probably going to end up tiling the floor. But that's going to be way down the line. Not anytime soon. So I'm going to put it up there and redesign a little bit. And I'm going to show you that right now. So here it is all placed in the Rebel Base. I took a couple minutes to organize all the speeders. And I managed to put a speeder lane over here very nicely so I put all my favorites up front the bark speeder this rebel speeder from a battle pack that I modded a little bit it's nothing too special and then um, the ATRT and then there's a some also speeder some also some other spears in the back I don't know if I can show you but that's just a little bit of how they look I don't know if you can see that very well I'm not back I can't get back there my camera might be able to this is a mess. I will have to work on this in another video. Or maybe I'll just work on it without a video. This was kind of like a vlog style video. I managed to fit all of the fighters, the bigger fighters, up here. And I also put the Jedi Interceptor up here because I was unable to fit it down here. The Y Wing and the ITS transport uh, are a very, very, very tight fit. I don't think. <laughs> Like, you could fit it more perfect. It's really tight, but it works, and I'm quite happy with it. You got R2 walking around, and then I showed you this before, right before this, and I really like it. I think it came out great. I got some more turrets over here, just like little turret builds from a battle pack. Um, and then a bigger turret that I just designed. And then all my little fighters over here. So this is going to be Resistance Update Episode 1, or Building a Resistance Episode 1. Yeah, I think Building a Resistance, that's going to be the title of this video. Episode 1. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I've been talking about my Rebel Base for a while and haven't really showed it to you, so here you go. Um, if you like this video, make sure to leave it a like, thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I mean, what have you been doing? There's a button down there. Press it, it's red, subscribe, flashing. No, it doesn't really flash, but subscribe. It'll turn gray, and I'll be very happy to gain a new subscriber. Make sure to comment down below if you like these this rebel base that I have, and if you suggest any changes, I will be reading through the comments like I always do, 
and I will take your comments into consideration. That's it for this Building a Resistance, Episode 1. Have a great day, and bye for now.